Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about the latest iOS 16 beta, iOS 16 beta 3. Now this is an amazing update. On the review of this update, I showed you guys a few new features of iOS 16 beta 3, but now we have a lot more features that have been added to this update, making iOS 16 even better. And this is an amazing update in my experience using it for the past two days. It's really, really smooth and it's a huge change from beta 2 to beta 3. You will feel actually the change on the operating system, on using it on a daily basis. Besides the new features, it also works really, really good. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new features that you will be able to find on the third beta of iOS 16. We're starting with the lock screen. Going to the lock screen, you will notice that we have a change on the widgets right here. So there we have the calendar widget. Now it shows you the event, the next event, it only shows the time of the event, but it won't show you the event right here until the device is unlocked. So if I just put my face here and unlock the device, you can see once it's unlocked, now it will show you the event. Another new feature, if you tap right here, let me just unlock it. If you tap on the widget, now it will actually take it to the event and not just open the calendar app. Another change on the lock screen widgets, the battery widget, whichever one you use of the battery widgets will now show you the charging status. So previously it didn't do this. You can see now it shows whether your device is charging or not. And of course, if you remove it, you can see it removes the charging indicator. Now this will work for all of your devices. You know that right here, you cannot actually just see the iPhone's battery. You can see also the batteries of other devices. And it will show you the charging status of other devices as well. Now Apple has tweaked the animation a lot with iOS 16 beta 3 as well. A new animation is for the haptic touch. So when you haptic touch on any icon or anywhere, you will notice a new animation right there, a smoother animation on the icon. There's a new animation as well for the control center. When you bring down the control center, you will see now you have this animation where it kind of fades the way away the wallpaper and it shows you the lock screen wallpaper. Now this is actually pretty cool. It actually looks really, really good. Now really enjoy and like this new animation for the notification center. There's also a new animation for the clock here. When you're using a wallpaper that has that depth look, the clock has a brand new animation, which makes it much, much smoother. And something really cool with iOS 16 beta 3, the clownfish wallpaper is back on iOS after many years. This was on the original iPhone. It's here with iOS 16 beta 3. Even though, in my opinion, the quality is not that great, hopefully it will be better with the next releases. Now you can find it when you go to add a new wallpaper under collections. So I'll just swipe like this. At the end, you will find the clownfish wallpaper. Now a lot of people are reporting not getting this wallpaper. A lot of them are getting it. In my experience, when I installed iOS 16 beta 3, the first day I didn't have the wallpaper and then just appeared right there under the collection. So if you have this update installed for a few days, you probably have now the wallpaper. If you don't try to reboot your device, you might get the wallpaper because we're getting like different feedbacks from people. Some are getting the wallpaper, some not, but it's there and apparently it will show up under the collections of the wallpapers. Now, if you're using the earth wallpaper on iOS 16, now it has like a rotating illumination when you just wake up your device instead of rotating the whole globe. So you can see right there that illumination, it's actually kind of cool and it adds a much, much better effect to the wallpaper. There is also a change on the FaceTime app. When you're making a call and you're on a call on FaceTime, you will have a new layout for the icons right here. Whether you're using it on the app here or you just have the pop-up outside of the app, you will get a new layout of icons with iOS 16 beta 3. The Books app now also has a new X button which allows to close pages. So right here you will have the new X button at the top right corner which allows you to close the book from here. And there is a change with Siri as well. When you're using headphones on your device and you invoke Siri, the sound that Siri makes when it invokes will be much much smoother and a bit different from before. On the Health app on iOS 16 Beta 3, when you go 
to browse right here and you go to heart you will have now a fib history you can tap on there and you will have also some new pictures right here some new renderings you will have the a fib history right here with ios 16 beta 3. on the find my app on ios 16 beta 3 you will have now a new option when you click on a location so if i tap right there it will now give me the option to actually open it on maps instead of just clicking there you will have an option to move from the find my to the maps app moving on to the settings app and we have quite a lot of changes here as well going under accessibility and right here under spoken content you will now have a lot more voices so if you go to voices you will have a lot here and you will also have new premium voices that have been added with this update there is a new splash screen when trying to upgrade iCloud on iOS 16 beta 3. So this has been redesigned. Of course, you will get all of your options here. You can go ahead and upgrade from here from the settings app. But now we have a new design and shared photo library has been added to iOS 16 beta 3. If you have, of course, iCloud photos enabled on your device, you will have the option right here and you can just go ahead and set it up right now. And if you have it enabled on your device, you will now get a new icon on the camera app. So it will be right here, it's like two little people which show basically will let you just choose whether you want to add it. Do you want to add the new photos you take to the shared albums or not? Of course, by tapping on it just like this one, you enable or disable it and choose whether you want to share it on the shared albums or not. Under the update section, under the general settings, you will have new options right here. If you go to automatic updates, now you will have an option to enable installed security responses and system files. So basically, this will let you just install security responses and system files without having to update your device to a newer version. And of course, your device may receive security fixes without receiving a major upgrade. Under the reminder settings, you will find a new option right here, include due today. So if you enable this, you will include both overdue and due today items on the badge count for the reminders app. There are a lot of changes on live captions as well. As you probably know, iOS 16 now offers live captions and with beta 3, it got quite a lot of updates. So by going to accessibility, you can find live captions right here. First of all, we have a new icon for live captions. And when you go here, you can go ahead and of course enable this. And if you go under appearance, now you will have bold text. So you can turn on or off bold text from there. Another thing here, idle opacity has been added with iOS 16 beta 3. So you will have the slider right here and you will find also new changes here. So if you go and just enable the basically the controller right here that we have for live captions, it now says listening. So it doesn't say wait anymore. It says listening and you can just go ahead and of course close this, minimize this. If you want to use live captions, you can just go ahead and move it around just like you would do with assistive touch. This is really, really cool. And of course, if you didn't know that you can minimize this, you can make this bigger, smaller, and of course, move it anywhere you want on the screen. On the settings app, we're still here under the Safari settings and you will find redesigned icons for the tab bar and single bar. These have been slightly redesigned. If you have an, a device with an older version, you will notice the difference here between the two designs. And last but not least, under the wallet and Apple Pay settings, you will have now an option to enable use Apple Pay when available. So basically your saved cards on Safari autofill will be verified with payment networks and capability with Apple Pay. So if you want to use that, you can go ahead and now enable it from the settings of the wallet and Apple Pay. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some new features that have been added to iOS 16 beta 3. And alongside with the performance, performance fixes and of course improvements that Apple has done with this update, of course, making it ready for the public beta release. It's an amazing update and I suggest you go ahead and update your device right now. If you're on iOS 16, make sure you're on iOS 16 beta 3. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.